Hey everybody, it is Prince's friend. I actually heard something today that was uh, pretty interesting. Uh, so apparently Jay-Z just released a new album called 444, and on it there's a track called Caught Their Eyes, where he actually talks about Prince, and he calls out Prince's lawyer, L. Mundell McMillan. The important lines in the song are, I sat down with Prince eye to eye, he told me his wishes before he died, now Londell McMillan, he must be colorblind, they only see green from them purple eyes. This guy had slave on his face. You think he wanted the masters with his masters? You greedy bastard sold tickets to walk through his house. I'm surprised you ain't auction off the casket. So my response to this is, yeah, I kind of said that from the beginning. It was interesting when I was following the story after Prince died and Jay-Z was then sued by the estate for not having the right albums on the site and then he was trying to make a deal with them so that he could buy the rights to the album so that he could do it through title because he had made a deal with Prince before Prince died to do it the way that Prince wanted it to be done which I think is an important note because Prince actually pulled all his music off of streaming sites but guess where it was available at title because Prince and Jay-Z sat down and they talked, and they talked about the industry and what needed to be done, and Prince said, yes, I agree with your business practices, I want my music on your site. That was why when uh, Hit and Run Phase 1 came out, that was the only place that you could get it, was because he had made that special deal with Jay-Z. But basically, as soon as Prince died, there were a lot of attacks on Jay-Z and the way that he was doing um, his business and with regard to Prince's music. And then all of a sudden now all of Prince's music, all the Warner Brother years are now available through all the streaming services and all that stuff, which, you know, it is what it is. I think Prince should have gotten on board with the streaming services. I'm not saying that I think that streaming services are bad because, you know, I pay a monthly subscription. I get all the music that I want. I think it's a good business thing. But it was interesting because I just had a comment in one of the videos that said, hey, we should respect Prince's wishes even if we don't like it. And the crazy thing is, is that, well, Prince wouldn't have wanted, <laughs> Prince wouldn't have wanted to have the stuff on streaming services. So now El Mondel McMillan actually did respond and his response was, yes, I've heard the track, not focusing on a diss track now, focused on not letting Warner Brothers Records control the masters. I do like the beat though. So, <laughs> hey, you know, at least he gives him his props. It was a pretty good beat. And if you don't know who L. Londell McMillan is, he's actually the lawyer who got Prince out of his Warner Brothers deal. But I find his involvement with the estate, and, and obviously Jay-Z doesn't agree with the whole Paisley Park Museum idea of charging people to walk through Paisley Park. We've already had that discussion on this channel. I'm actually okay with it. Uh, Prince had always said that he would want his house to be something like a Graceland or something like that. So, And everything is very pristine. Everything is left the way that it was. So it's not like it's an interactive thing where, hey, come and ride on Prince's motorcycle. You know, it's not like an amusement park. It's just, hey, come check out the stuff. And I don't see anything wrong with that personally. I don't know if the charging people to walk through his house is the problem that Jay-Z has, but I guess if it was for free, I think it would just be overrun maybe? I don't know, it's weird. Now I do want to give a shout out to Casey Rain over at A Violet Reality, where he was actually quoted in the article that I'm actually um, reading here, where he responded with, Let's be real, when L. Londell McMillan negotiated Prince's Freedom from Warner Brothers in 1996, Jay-Z hadn't even released his debut album. And I have mixed feelings about that because, okay, well thank you, Casey, for stating the chronological order of, of, of things, but how long Jay-Z has been doing music and how long uh, Londell McMillan has been doing law, neither of those two things really have anything to do with each other. And I think it's kind of a weak defense to say, well, Jay-Z wasn't around at the time. Well, I mean, a lot of us weren't around at the time. That doesn't mean that we're not allowed to have our own opinions on things and comment on the things that we see, especially if we feel it to be an injustice. And that's not me saying that it is an injustice or that it's not an injustice. But Jay-Z thinks it is, and he wrote it in a song, and goddammit, you guys are gonna listen to it because he put it in a song, and Jay-Z is like one of the biggest rappers around, so... So anyway, those are my thoughts on this.
Let me know what you think, and we can talk about it in the comments. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Check out my Patreon. I'm actually looking to hopefully save up enough money to get a new camera that will get us even better quality here. I know it's pretty good because my iMac is great, but it'd be good if I could get it even better. But until then, may you live to see the dawn.